What's up everybody, Tindo here. Look, Hannah Warrior Princess and Desert Industries. We're starting off today at my favorite, favorite thrift store. So let's do that and then we'll find some other stuff to do. This thrift store used to really be one of the best for super cheap video games. I'd find some every time I come, but we've been diminished to this. Just nothing, nothing at all. Hello, random antique in the middle of all the pans. That got loud. I didn't realize it would be that loud, but hey, got a really like cool, I think it's a, it's a food chipper. Interesting. These are kind of cool. A lot of what I'm seeing that I do want is pretty expensive today, but check it that's only two bucks i'll take that for two bucks better make sure there's nothing else in here i gotta have finding all kinds of random things in random places look at this tea kettle in the middle of all of the lighting stuff but it's so cool like a little strawberry top it's so neat it's only three bucks i think it's coming home with me a good thing and a bad thing $1.50 Baymax. Oh, well, you know what? I was going to say this was good and this was bad. Because he looked complete and he was missing a foot. But he's missing a foot. He's missing his hand. Rip. So I got really excited. Look at these awesome enamelware wash bins. They're super cool and I really like them. This one's only $1.50. And then this one is only slightly bigger. It's $10. Why? That's really weird. Check it. It's too perfect. It's just the right color yellow. We'll buy. Also, we're thinking about getting this pool display. Because that's something that would hit, sell good at one of our antique booths. All right, not a bad first start. We bought a bunch of nonsense. You know how a couple months ago, a few months ago now, if you were watching and we started doing dishes and some other things that were pretty outside of our norm and some people are like, well, what's going on? Well, we're taking another little step outside of our norm because uh, the next time or maybe the time after next we open a new booth, we want to open one that's more antiques and junk that you would typically see in an antique store because we have so much access to stuff like that. So that's why I bought this weird pool thing because we'll hang that up in one of our booths that we're going to open and uh, somebody's going to buy it for their husband to put in their new pool room they just built. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get a lot of metal work like that. And uh, Hannah bought some dishes and another antique random bit of nonsense. What is it a coffee grinder? It's a, a food processor. An old food processor, but it's old as heck. That's kind of the same thing. That's the kind of junk people like to go to those antique stores for. So good first stop. Let's keep moving. Now, before we move on, we're going to stop real quick at one of our flea market booths. Hannah's got a big bag full of dishes, full of Tupperware, really, that she bought on yesterday's episode. Go back and watch that episode if you didn't. She brought home so much Tupperware. <laughs> And we're gonna go drop it off for sale in one of our booths and then we'll keep on going. So stick around. All right, we're over in the booth. I'm noticing a few things that are out of place, but that's okay. Um, I've noticed a few things missing as well. So I'm very excited about that. Um, let's see. I know someone just walked up a thing of Tupperware. So I know that's sold for sure. And then I've got a whole cart full of stuff to put up including a, a lamp. I bought this a long time ago and put it in our room, but now that we've changed rooms up, I don't have any space for it. It's a really big lamp. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in there. It's from World Market. It still has the original price tag on it. So hopefully someone will like it, but we got a lot to put up. I'm just checking my booth out real quick while Hannah's over there fixing hers up. Uh, everything looks pretty good. I didn't really get anything priced to bring over here today. I've spent most of my focus for the weekend on my other booth but uh, I am gonna take this gun home and fix it. Also, I have some of its missing pieces that need to go on it, but this has come off the cocking mechanism. I don't know if it got dropped or what, but I can fix that at home. Can't really do it here, so. I swear, every time I come in here, it's harder and harder to get everything in here. I'm just like tucking things in places that I just think that they might fit because this thing is pretty jam-packed now. I've been searching and searching for shelves and 
haven't quite found the right stuff yet. So we're working on it. We'll find them and this will look a little less cramped. Look at all this Tupperware. Tupperware, 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 Tupperware. <laughs> and that's not even most of it. Not Tupperware. All right, let's get back to the thrifting now. Look, we're at another of my favorite thrift stores, Desert Industries. There are three here in town. I wish we could go to the third, but that third one is way the F over there. So we're not going to go to that one today. We'll find another one to go to after this. But for now, desert it is. Can you imagine two of them in one day? This one's really clean. It's crazy. Last one had a little bit of food stuff in it, but this one's really nice. It's it's also a food chopper, so same, same. <laughs> Another one? Another one. How much? Five dollars. That's crazy. I'll get it too. Might as well. There's also a Club Classic pan here. I kind of like it. Well, it handles a little wobbly. I don't know how you can fix that. If you can fix that. I don't think so. It's kind of a shame, but it's only two bucks, so I'll think about that. What else is here? Oh, look at that. That's a dollar club pan. I wish it had its lid because this is one that uh, I, yeah, I'd want to keep it, but at the same time, like I already have one that's kind of this size, so I should probably sell it, but it doesn't have its lid, so it's not really worth it then, but it is only a dollar. The struggles I go through. Let's go. Dead or Alive 3. There's a lot here I'm going to have to look up, but the games here are usually pretty cheap. Let's just take them all. Oh, these are kind of cute. Little bookends, Sesame Street. Check it. We'll take. Really like this thing. It's really cute. I've really always wanted one, but I don't know where we could put it in the house because it would just be in the way. So I really want it. It's 10 bucks, so I feel like I should get it. Probably put it in a booth. Um, somebody would really like it. I really like it, but <laughs> I don't think it's really practical for our living situation right now. I think I should get it. Should I get it? I should get it. I should get it. I'd love to have one Zoid toy on my shelf. Every one I find is broken. Like this one's missing its headpiece and stuff. They always show up in pieces. The only Tupperware I found today so far is this like kids toy like box thingy. I don't know what would be in here. It's got letters on the other side. Oh. Well, it's got blocks in it, which, I mean, it's Tupperware. Typically their stuff is plastic, so maybe that's not what originally came in it. But yeah, I'm not gonna get it, but it's kind of interesting. Well, kind of second stop in a row where we just got some, what seems like nonsense, but Hannah got some more of those pans she's been collecting a bunch of. Second meat grinder in a day, weird, but antique shops, that's what you're gonna sell. Uh, Hannah got some big weird pillow thing I know nothing about, but I'm sure she'll tell us later. And uh, I got a couple games here. As you saw in there, the games are always better at this one than the other one, at least in terms of uh, quantity. But the, you know, what was there wasn't great. I mean, there were some good games. Like I'm stoked to find a Dynasty War game I don't have for Xbox, but uh, I, something else that was going on in there, I didn't really explain why we were in there. Last time we were here, there were a bunch of okay games in the lockbox all marked $10. Now they were marked down to five and put on the shelf, and most of them still weren't really worth five bucks to me. So I got a couple. I got a couple that were marked. One that was marked five and one that was marked three. That's silly. All right, there's one more good thrift store over here, and uh, let's go to it now. Here we go. One of Hannah's... I'm stuck. I got my keys stuck on my door handle. All right, this is one of Hannah's favorite stops, and this is also a stop where we spend an unfortunate amount of money sometimes when it's good. Don't know if it'll be good today. It didn't do us too well last time we were here, but we'll see how it goes today. I think it's finally here. The salt and pepper shakers of my dreams. They're so cute. Okay, I'll get them. Also funny, I have this silverware set in my booth already and it doesn't have any spoons in it and this one has spoons in it so we're gonna get that so that hopefully someone will 
justify spending money on the one that is in the booth because now they'll have spoons. There's a PS2 over there, a Wii, a DSi, and a bunch of games. Oh, there's a PS3 down there too, but it's 75. Maybe you could just tell me how much is on that Mario one you just moved. Um, okay. I can see those last few PS2 as well. Yeah, the PS2 ones. Uh, all right, if you just give me a second to look at these. The air conditioner is blowing very hard right here. It feels very nice. I'm just, just gonna enjoy it for a minute. There were a bunch of video games over there. and It's always really difficult to get over there and to look at them and to film while I'm over there, but I am gonna leave with a stack of games from over there. Uh, I'll talk about what they are in a minute, but last time I was here, there was a good number of video games here as well, but it looks like they've corrected that and just left the PC stuff over here, taking the console stuff back over there. But I think when we were here last, I bought a couple PlayStation 1 games or something. I don't really remember. Uh, but yeah, not seeing anything now. What is this? Interesting. Harry Potter. That's a DVD case. Interesting. Farming simulator. Just played Minecraft. Alright. I don't see anything. There's some pretty cool stuff in the dishes section. Like, this thing's pretty neat. It's on sale right now for 75 cents. Um, as far as, like, plates go, I don't really like picking them up because usually everybody has their plate set and they don't really feel like getting a brand new plate set. But they do have some vintage bowls here. Like they've got this giant um, corningware thing and those aren't really worth a ton. So I'm not gonna get that one. And they've got a bunch of Fire King here too, but $7 for that, that's about how much they actually are worth. So not gonna get that one either. This thing's Fire King as well. It's not worth, I think they have another $7 on it. It's not worth that. So not finding a ton, but I'm super excited about this salt and pepper shaker, so. Not all is lost. One of the reasons I really love this thrift store is that they have an entire section that is just vintage clothing. So they separate out some of the stuff that they see that's vintage. They've got quite a bit here today. It's usually pretty sparse. There's some polyester going on. Oh, this is kind of cute. Little jumpsuit action. $6.98 for that. That's from some vintage JC Penny. That's neat. That might be worth it. Six ninety eight is not bad for that. It, jumpsuits are kind of hard. They either sell for like a ton immediately or none, nothing at all, and just never sell. So it's a bit of a gamble to get that. It's really cute though. So I'm gonna think about it for a minute. All right, that was a great last stop. I'm glad we came here because I was kind of sweating not buying any video games today. I always go home bummed out if I buy no video games, but I bought two PSP games today uh, just now that I'm really excited about. So let's go home and talk about what they are. Okay, we're back home and we're gonna run through all the stuff we got real quick, talk a little bit more about a couple of the items specifically and then uh, we'll call it quits for the day. But then you can come back tomorrow because we post daily videos here. We're not gonna be able to go as fast as we want to with this kind of thing, but there's a lot of ways in which this kind of metal work is really popular right now. This isn't exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, right? Like rusty metal looking stuff to hang up outside. This is definitely more indoors and this is not that old, but this is definitely something that some woman's gonna buy for her, her, hubby, her hubby's, uh, what I say earlier? Her husband's his new man pool, cave. His new man cave, okay. <laughs> um, if I had a pool room, I'd hang it in there. Not that we're gonna make a ton of money off that. We just need like 200 pieces like that for another booth one of these days. I love going to the desert because they have these super, super cheap guns. Almost every Nerf gun that shows up there is just a dollar or two. So anything that's under a couple bucks there, Nerf wise, I always buy. I love desert just because it's cheap in general. Like yeah. everything from there, you're like, if that was a Goodwill, that'd be like, $10 more. For sure. <laughs> Except for the stuff they put in their lock boxes. I don't remember if I got a clip of it, but there was a big bag of Legos there for $65. Yeah. It had a lot of minifigs, which would have made it worth it, but it, it, it wasn't. It wasn't worth it. We didn't get it. Their which... furniture is always really expensive, too. So, give and take. Yeah. This thing, I was really on the fence about whether or not I should buy it. Because jumpsuits do really well whenever they're like, I don't know, when someone just looks at it and goes, oh my god, I have to have that. 
I could sell for a lot, but it could also just sit there and never get sold. But it's honestly the bell bottom at the bottom was what sold me. I was just like, if it, it's just a polyester jumpsuit, and I'm like, oh my god, it's a bell bottom. So I had to have it. Also, behold, this pot. That's the most ridiculous thing you've ever bought. It's so cute, like the little stem at the top with the little, the what are the the strawberry fringy thingies called? I don't know the cat. It's nice. <laughs> you could have just said the top of it is pleasing. <laughs> what is this? It is an enamelware basin. I don't know if it's actually vintage or not, but the fact that it has no like markings on it to tell me whether or not it's like new tells me it could be. So I thought it was pretty neat. I got it because I like enamelware. I think it's really awesome. I wish that, that one that was ten dollars though was a dollar fifty like this. Yeah, one that was a bummer. Who knows why that happened? They probably underpriced that one. Probably. Uh we got two meat grinders. Food chippers. Is that what it says? Is it's that the company? No, it, that's what they call it. It's a food chipper. New Britain Connecticut, USA, uh, number two, Universal Food Chopper. It's Chopper. The, the tag was covering the O, so it looked like an I. Uh, <laughs> and then it has uh, it has its patent number on the back of it, dated 1899. That's really dope. The, that's the patent date, I guess. There's, there's no way this thing's probably from 1899, but uh, it's really cool. It's uh, super cool. It's just the kind of thing, just like that pool thing. Just imagine it, a bunch of random metal stuff and some furniture in a booth. Uh, one of these days. We're just going to keep buying nonsense like this, throwing it into a pile in our storage unit, and that being that. Hannah, tell them about your neat little cat. These are awesome. Do you want to Do you want to tell them why I need salt and pepper shakers? I actually, I don't even remember what I did now, but we had elephant salt and paper sh pepper shakers, and I had some popcorn, and, and somewhere in between me trying to set it down <laughs> and it getting set down, it got tossed across between the room. Between the butterfingers from the popcorn. I think maybe I did something <laughs> Butterfingers Oh my I, I thought she made like I was eating Butterfingers too I was like Alright well, Don't make me fat, sound Like a fatty I think I think I dumbly Set it on the bed And then like Literally kicked it Because I remember it Flying really hard But all it really was Was like Ching There's salt on the floor And I looked at Hannah It's whole nose Was just gone <laughs> Do you remember The last time I broke Something glass Where yours I, there, we had a lamp. It wasn't a lamp. It was a thermometer, like a temperature thermometer. How did I knock that over? I, I don't, don't know. Remember. I'm clumsy. I think I bumped into whatever it was sitting on top of and just knocked. That it thermometer over. was bad because it's it's not filled with water. It's filled with some mystery fluid that yeah, smelled we didn't very know it was. very chemically. Which, funny enough, I saw a woman at Goodwill like two days ago buying the same thermo thermometer. And I was like, oh, I have that thermometer. It's super cool. And she goes, well, we had one too. And we broke it. And I yeah. go, same! Well, it's very top heavy. <laughs> it is. It's an awkward shape. It needs a it needs a custom stand. Do we still have one? Yeah. I bought you another one. Where yeah, is it? Yeah, it's in the bathroom. Oh. Yeah. Somewhere I can't reach it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very safe place. Yeah. I, it I, looks I, like it looks like the Washington Monument. It's just very Yeah, I, I, it's just very top heavy and everyone I know that gets one breaks it, but um, I, I don't even know where the second one is. You probably shouldn't tell me. I figured this thing out though. It was too tight to turn. It's oh. got a tensioning nut on it, so I Crank got it. it. I got it figured out. Set those aside. This is the second time I've seen you buy this exact set of forkery. <laughs> forkery. It's a new <laughs> word on patenting. So trademarking. Yes, I bought this at a Goodwill for just a couple of bucks, and like this set. Well, this one does have forks too. My set that I bought only had knives and forks, but this one has spoons. So I figured you might want to get both of them so you get spoons Well, too. we should throw all our silverware away and keep those because they match. They're really cute. <laughs> they match. Um, talk about this thing because you've been buying a lot of this. Have you sold any of these yet at the booth? I don't think so. Not yet. People will probably be more likely to buy them when there are sets there anyways. Yeah. I feel like someone's, one person's going to come along and go, oh my gosh, my grandma had that. I want that set. And this one's the same color as the ones that I have. And it's like the same whole class, club classic set. So I thought I might as well, I had to get it because I have the rest. I'm in it. <laughs> I bought a Viewmaster today, a nice blue one. Um, 
I kind of like to get one of each color and like put it on the shelf, but at the same time, I'm trying to get a. I'd like to have a view master shelf at one of my toy booths with just lots of slides individually for sale. I don't see a lot of it at thrift, so I just snatched this blue one up now. I don't see a lot of the blue ones either. Yeah. I, I mean, usually the red. Yeah, we find a, the ones in our booths now are red. And then I've just been buying these cheap boxes just to put a few dollar markup on them and sell them at our booth. Uh, I don't quite have every color yet, but I'm getting closer. Uh, I bought this yellow trash can randomly just because, I mean, it matches everything, but I'm probably still just going to put it in my bedroom because I find myself sitting at my desk where I edit these videos you're watching all the time without somewhere to throw stuff away and then I walk all the way in here. Um, I always right. need a place to throw away Goodwill tags. <laughs> I think that leaves us with our finds of the day, correct? Yes. All right. You talk about yours first. I don't even know what to say about it. This is from Target. Now I just see it on the tag as I'm here. It's Threshold brand. It is a floor poof ottoman thing. So, I've been wanting one of these for a really long time, but we don't really have the space for it, and so I couldn't just leave it. So I'm gonna put it in my booth. These things are not cheap. Like, you know, they go upwards of hundreds of dollars depending on where you get them from. But this one being Target, it probably was like 50-ish bucks. Yeah. New? It's Target, you never know. Yeah. Uh, I got, uh, let's see, five video games today and there's two of them I'm really excited about. And well, honestly, I mean, I'm excited about all of them. When was the last time I bought a GameCube game on the channel, right? Uh, X-Men, Legends, Rise of Apocalypse 2. I've got it on like Xbox or something. I don't remember which platform, but I didn't have it on GameCube. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and then I bought NBA Streets Volume 2. I think I have that one on GameCube, but I didn't have it on <laughs> Xbox. And then Dynasty Warriors 3 on Xbox. Had it on PlayStation 2, did not have it on Xbox. I know you've got a lot of the Dynasty Warrior games. Yeah, and I prefer playing them on PS2, but I, I want to go ahead and get that on the shelf and get it out of the way. I kind of think it'll be fun one of these days where I have all, like, 60 Dynasty Warrior games on each platform and have them all on one shelf. That'd be kind of funny. Now, I bought two PSP games today, which was my find of the day for sure. Uh, one of them is just Ben 10 Protector of Earth. Pretty cool. And then this one is very interesting, and I want you guys to comment below if you know about this game. Does that say Brooktown? Brooktown High, some sort of um, high school sim. I don't know. <laughs> that uh, could get real dangerous. Yeah, well, there's some some high school tunes on the back with some very interesting dialogue. Back off, loser! I'm not interested. And this kid says, "Is it hot in here, or is it just you?" And then another girl says, "Geeks are hot." Okay. Okay. Comment below if you played this. I don't know anything about it, but I, I was kind of hoping it was valuable or something, but it's like a $6 game. It's nothing super special, but I haven't brought home many PSP games lately either. Uh, somebody randomly messaged me on Instagram the other day uh, and just asked me, how many PSP games do you have? And I was like, you know, I don't know. I don't know. He didn't say why I wanted to know or anything, but I went and looked at my, you know, my app and how many I had, and coincidentally, at that moment, he asked me. He asked me at the perfect time. Until these two, I have 78 PSP games and 78 PSP UMDs. Uh -huh. You could stack them side by side and be exactly the same. That's height. funny. Now, I mean, that's broken now because now I have 80 PSP games. Uh, I need to go find two PSP UMDs. Oh, shoot. Kind of interesting, the coincidence of that, though. I was like, I, I couldn't believe it. And I, I think I did. <laughs> I don't, that guy who asked might be watching, I don't even think I told him that. I think I, I was like, he's not going to believe me. <laughs> so I think I said I have 78 PSP games and about the same number of PSP <laughs> human beings. Because like, I was like, he's going to think I'm making this up. There's just no way. He, you know, but he asked at the exact right time. Uh, is that your favorite thing you got today? Ooh, that's really tough because I have a lot of things I'm really excited about. The salt and pepper shakers. Oh, no, 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 really no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's the strawberry thing. The I'm, strawberry. I'm deciding for you. My favorite thing you got is the strawberry. Pick it's that so up. cute. I love it. It's a little teapot. It's kind of dumb. I never buy teapots because they're not worth a ton. This one's like not not worth anything. It's, Have you looked it up? Yeah, it's eh, 25, 20-ish bucks. I, you know, there's plenty of things that we resell at our booths and even sometimes on eBay that... Um, Depending on what it is, we don't put it at the high side of its value. Sometimes you probably make these decisions if you're a reseller off of like condition. If the disc is a little scratchy or if it's this or it's that, maybe I charge a few dollars less. But like there's just certain things you bring home 
you got to put on the high side of the price because someone's yeah. going to pay. Somebody's going to walk into your toy booth and say $30, no problem. Yeah, like, I'd have paid 50 Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and that's one of those items. You don't want to come down on this one. It's really cute. It's so very strange. It was it was in the electrical section by all the, like, light bulbs. Someone, like, Just carried it around the store and, and then decided not to get it. For $3, why don't you get that? Yeah, well, that's the best part about Desert, right? Is that... So cheap. If that were at Goodwill, it'd be twelve. Oh yeah, percent. So what is your favorite thing? I I tried to answer for you, but I guess it worked. I don't remember what else you got. You're I so got a lot of stuff I really like. Well, pick one. I got like. The... Did you hear my Jerry Springer impression <laughs> just now? I got like the Hannah collection. You got some enamel. You gotta here, pick one. Some salt and pepper shakers. We're not leaving until uh... you pick one. I feel weird picking the thing that's not vintage though. It's um, fine. I'm gonna go with the salt and pepper shakers. Okay. So I've been looking a really long time for those. Well, this is probably my find of the day. How about that? What's your favorite thing that we got today? Comment below before we get out of here. Let us know what you're liking. Uh, maybe comment below and let me know what you're looking forward to the thrift right now. I bet most of you watching your thrift stores are back open. I know some friends of mine and are some viewers of ours, some friends of ours in the UK. You guys have told me that. Uh, your your bin boot your boot bin sales or what are they what's the specific name? I know the, the boot sales. The boot sales. Some of uh, someone messaged me the other day a picture of some stuff that they got. And they said I just got it at the boot. Now having this channel and conversed with a lot of you guys on these matters, I now know what that means. I like the sound of that. Going to the boot. Love um, it. Comment below. What have you guys been checking out at the thrift store, at yard sales, boot sales, etc.? I want to know. Keep me, keep me informed. Let me know below. If you want to go the extra mile, though, go over to our community Discord. The link for that is below. You just go click on it. It'll take you over there. You can come chat with there and go a little bit further and post pictures, perhaps, of what you've been finding, uh, which is going on right now. But I feel my phone buzzing in my pocket. People over on our Discord are sharing their weekend finds. Because as of shooting this right now, today is Saturday. Yes. And, you know, Saturday's the day that everyone gets out there and, and buys good stuff. So come over and join it before the weekend's over and see what people buy tomorrow at the thrift, at the yard sale, at the boot. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also, before we get out of here, do me a pre a really, really big favor and check out our merch store, Tindostrash.com. Uh, we just sent out a whole run of T-shirts, Tindo shirts, and uh, now's a really good time to go buy those because... Um, it's been like two months ago on an episode now. We bought a screen printing machine, and we're actually going to start... Uh, going even further creating our own shirts our own brand and stuff and we're gonna have that stuff up for sale really soon which means what we're selling now is kind of gonna you know be discontinued so if you want one of our original tindo shirts now's the time to go buy one go check them out the links below or you can just type it into your web browser tindo's trash here let me do this tindo's trash.com or would it need to be this way yeah, like tindo's <laughs> trash doc well i don't know if we're watching we're watching an inverted thing Right? My mind's I don't know. <laughs> Tindostrash.com. Okay, go check it out. Put your eyeballs on what we got. And that's just about it, except to say here, I'm going to open my phone real quick to show you something before we get out of here. Uh, this is crazy. This isn't a brag. I just want you to understand um, we're trying to do this YouTube thing for real, and uh, we're feeling very thankful for where we are right now because we have went up 500 subs. Here's my numbers. 500 subs in the last 20 days. I don't know if this is going to actually focus on this. Uh, if it does, you'll see it. But 491 subs uh, in the last 28 days. And uh, the last couple days have just been like 100 on their own. It's been really nuts. Uh, something we've done, some couple videos we've posted have been just right. And they've been surfacing in new people's feeds. And perhaps you're watching and you're one of those people that's just been here for a week or so. Uh, if you could hit that sub button and help us just kind of finish this run that we're on right now strong, because this doesn't stick around forever on YouTube. You go up and you go down, and uh, this is one of our best runs ever. We've had one of our best weeks ever in terms of views and subscriber increase, etc. So if you're watching and you like what you're seeing, definitely hit the subscribe button uh, and help us keep doing what we're doing. Um, I'd really appreciate it, because we're at 596 right now. As I'm, uh, or 2596, as I'm looking at this, it's been like this all day. I'll put my phone up and I'll come back in a little bit. It'll go up two or three. So hit that subscribe button, guys. Pretty please. We'd appreciate it. But that is it, guys. We do post daily videos here on this channel. So come back tomorrow, see what we're up to. We've got some stuff we want to get into in the next week that's pretty creative. I've got some lamps I want to make. Hannah's got some stuff she's going to sew together. We're going to play some video games. There's going to be lots of cool stuff on the channel. So hit the subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. Come back tomorrow. Until then, guys, peace out.